today's video, I am so excited to share with you a winning combination when it comes to getting glowing skin without looking greasy. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know I kind of waver on this like fine line of wanting a matte finish foundation that's really long wearing and great coverage, yet wanting something that looks natural and makes the skin look satin and beautiful, not too heavy, not too cakey. You know, as I get a little bit older, I can't really wear the heavy matte foundations that I used to be able to wear. Um, my skin looks a little bit drier, it looks a little bit heavier, it tends to show more texture in the skin. Um, but I live in Austin, Texas, and it is so hot. <laughs> it is so hot. So when I think of like glowy or dewy foundations, I want to run the opposite direction because I mean, I, I just cannot stand the greasy or really shiny touching up multiple times throughout the day finish. Um, so I've always shied away from glowy skin, but like I said, as I get older, I need something that makes my skin look um, like have that glow from within without having to sacrifice longevity and, um, you know, shine free. So I found this winning combination. I want to say this, this video is not sponsored. However, I am working with Nordstrom on a blog post and an Instagram post that's separate from this video. But I love this combination so much that I was like, I have to create a YouTube video to share this because um, my main platform is YouTube and I feel like a lot of you might not read the blog or see that on Instagram and I wanted to share this in a video because it is phenomenal. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I tell, before we start in the um, products, I'll tell you what I have on my skin right now. Um, I have just moisturized my skin. I've used my SPF. Um, I'm using a new one actually by uh, Polish Choice. I'll have it linked down below, um, but I really like it. It's a lightweight moisturizer. I think it has an SPF of 25 in it, but it's really, really lightweight. So it's my moisturizer and sunscreen in one. Um, and my vitamin C serum, but that is it. I don't have a primer on my face at all yet. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that is part of this combination is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. Now I do put a little bit of this just in the center of my cheeks and on my forehead because that is where I tend to produce the most oil and where I tend to get shiny throughout the day and where my makeup tends to break up throughout the day. So I do want to add some mattifying protection. Uh, so I just grab a little tiny bit. This might even be more than I need. I'm going to rub it between my fingers just so that I don't like apply too much. And I'm just going to apply that, like I said, right here in the center of my face, right here on my forehead. I'm not going to feel the need to apply it all over the face, just in the center of the face. So after I've applied the primer, next I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now this, I wasn't planning on picking this up. I was just going to pick up the foundation powder and conceal. Oh, actually I already had the concealer. Um, but the, the uh, sales gal at Nordstrom totally upsold me on this. And I'm usually not one to be upsold. But when she showed me this on her hand, I was like, yes, I will take it. So this is what it comes like. Um, she described it as basically a primer that you can use in many different ways. You can apply it before your foundation. You can mix it in with your foundation. You can mix it in with your tin moisturizer. Really what it does is it gives the skin this beautiful, beautiful light glow. Um, it doesn't really offer any coverage. There is a slight pigment to it. So it actually looks like a foundation color when you pull out the little, what would you call this, the spatula or whatever, dope it one. But when you put it into the skin, it's very sheer. I mean, perhaps it would even out the skin tone a little bit, but it's not, it's not a foundation, even though it looks like one. So next what I do is I apply this where I want that glow. I don't apply it all over. I just apply it strategically in the places that I want glow. So for me, that is going to be right here on my cheekbones. And I literally just kind of paint it on. And then I'm going to put some in the center of my forehead. Even though we applied that L'Oreal um, primer there, I still want that there. And I think I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose. Why not? <laughs> okay, so now that I have that there, you can either blend it in with your fingers if you want. I'm actually going to use a beauty blender. I'm not going to press real hard because I don't want to absorb too much product. I'm just going to press enough to, to just kind of blend that in to the skin. You don't have to press hard. You don't have to press long. Like I said, you just want to kind of blend it in. Just bounce it real lightly. Okay, so now I have that glow applied where I want it. Next, I'm going to go in with the Magic Foundation. And I got the shade 5. It's medium. Medium 5 is the shade I got in the Magic Foundation. Um, the uh, shade I got in the Flawless Filter is light medium, and I got shade 3. So it's light medium 3. Okay, now this foundation I was very um, intrigued by because it says it has a, a demi matte finish, which I'm all about. Basically, a demi matte finish is not going to be like a super harsh, dry, cakey, heavy matte finish. It's just going to be a soft focus matte finish. And that usually translates to um, long wearability. It usually translates to keeping the skin shine free. Uh, so <laughs> I'm so silly. I think I used this in a video recently. 
and I like took the lid off. I didn't even like realize there was a pump, silly me. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit uh, one full pump on my skin. You can see the consistency is pretty thick. It is starting to slowly move down the hand, but it's not watery or runny, um, but there is some movement to it. So next, I'm gonna go in and apply this with a brush. You certainly can use a beauty blender if you like, just know that you're going to get just more of a natural sheer finish and you're gonna go through more products. So I'm just gonna use um, my BK Beauty 101 brush and I'm just gonna use it on the tip of the brush and I'm gonna start in the center of the face like I always do and just kind of press this into the skin. What I like about this foundation is it's pretty buildable, um, meaning that you can get really natural coverage or you can build it to get more coverage without it looking cakey or heavy. Um, it seems kind of like you could do that with any foundation, but that's not really the case. Some foundations, if you build and add more, it's just gonna look not cute. <laughs> you might get more coverage, but it's going to not sit on the skin nicely and look natural. Um, so once I get out to the perimeters of my face, I really like to use this brush and kind of like, kind of swirl it around, is that the right word? <laughs> to shear that out. All right, and then we're gonna go in on the other side and do the same thing. Now, if you are trying to build a foundation, uh, my best recommendation is to start with a sheer layer, blend that out, and then go in and add another sheer layer on top. Instead of grabbing a ton of product in one um, pass, grab a little bit, apply it, and then go back and put a little bit more in those areas that you need it. You're just gonna get a prettier application if you approach it that way, rather than going in all at once and just like slapping it on a bunch and trying to blend it out. All right, and then I'm going to do the nose and forehead, and I still have quite a bit of product left. I didn't really quite use a full pump. I don't know about you guys, but I'm. it's so hard for me to like let a, let some foundation go to waste. <laughs> you know, if I, uh, if I have it on the back of my hand, I feel like I need to use it, but Really, if you look in the mirror and you like what you see, just let it go to waste. Because the more you add unnecessarily, the more issues you're gonna run into with your makeup. Either it's gonna look cakey or heavy, or it's going to leave more opportunity for that makeup to break up when your skin produces oil and melts and just get not, it's not gonna look good. As tempting as it may be, do not use more than you need. All right, so I'm just gonna, I think that that's pretty good. I've got that applied pretty well into the skin. I mean, you can see a very strong glow here. I should give the disclaimer that you probably noticed my skin was pretty glowy before we started. Um, so that definitely helps. But the products, the Flawless Filter, helps so much give that really subtle glow right there. Okay, so next we're gonna go with the concealer and this is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer and I have the shade four, Fair. Now, I like this concealer a lot for the days that I want more of a natural coverage or a natural finish. This is not a, in my opinion, this is not a full coverage concealer. Um, it's very lightweight, so it's perfect for the drier under eyes. It's perfect for the under eyes that might have a lot of texture because it's not going to magnify that texture or it's not going to make the skin look drier there. Um, now, if you are someone that has really dark circles, I feel like I have pretty moderate level dark circles. Some days they're darker than others, but today I feel like they're pretty moderate. This will work. But if you have really dark circles, this might not be enough coverage for you, or you might want to use this in conjunction with another, which honestly, just find a concealer that gives you the coverage you like and, and save yourself the time and the money. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this pretty liberally because it is a lighter weight concealer, I can do that. I wouldn't really do this much application with a thicker, fuller coverage concealer. Now I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to apply this. And I'm just going to kind of bounce that under the eye, so pretty. I do like this concealer for days that I'm gonna be outside a lot because it is lightweight. You know, it's the name of the game for me when it's a million degrees outside is lighter products, right? I wanna stay away from heavy products. So I'm just going to blend that in. It's looking very nice. And then I'm just gonna always get here right in the corner because I have a little bit of greenness, like this, I guess they're veins right there in the inner corner that you see. And I wanna highlight that, or not highlight that. I want to cover and brighten that, that's what I should say. Now, you can always take your beauty blender and just kind of bounce it over the foundation after you've done your concealer. This is just an added little step to, one, blend your foundation out, um, absorb any excess that might be sitting on there. I think that the brush did a pretty good enough job, so I don't really feel the need to. Now, as it is right now, my skin is very glowy. It's more glowy than I am comfortable with, so I'm definitely gonna set this um, foundation. The Magic Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. Is this, how new is this? This is not, 
It's not brand new, but I feel like this is kind of newish. This, this came out after the foundation, I'm pretty sure. I should really know this. <laughs> but I just picked this up and I love this. It comes in a couple shades. I think it comes in three. I think it comes in like a yellow base, a pink base, which is what I have. And then a, um, I think it comes in a deeper one. I have the one, number one, Fair. Um, normally I grab the yellow brightening powders. You guys have seen me talk about a lot of those in my videos. Um, but the gal at Nordstrom talked me into getting this one and I'm actually glad I did because I, I, I have so many yellow brightening powders. I wanted more of a um, pinkier tone to it. So I basically just kind of dumped it over so that I can I have product in here to grab from. Now you can use a beauty blender if you want to do this or you can use a brush. I'm going to use my beauty blender for now. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blend in, blender in here. It is wet and I'm just going to go under the eyes and press this into the skin. You can see immediately it cuts down quite a bit of shine. Do you see the shine here? You can also see my pores much more here than you do here. This powder immediately cuts down that shine, but you still see that glow. This uh, step is very, very important to keep that longevity throughout the day. Let's go ahead and step and move over to a brush. So let's apply it with a brush. So I'm gonna grab um, the 104 tapered powder brush and I'm really loading that brush up. I'm loading up the whole side and I'm just gonna kind of softly set the entire face. There we go. So you can see it cuts down that kind of, that overshine, but you still get that subtle glow, right? So the skin is set, it's not gonna transfer, it's not sticky, it's not tacky. Okay, so the last step that I do for my complexion is my bronzer or my contour or whatever you like to add to give your face some more dimension. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. I really like this, I've been using this for a while and um, I love it, what can I say, I love it. So I'm gonna load up my brush with this and I'm just going to kind of give some warmth here on the cheeks. It's just so soft and it has the most subtle sheen so it kind of helps play into that subtle glow look. Now I'm gonna run it down the side of my nose too. Because it is a little bit lighter, I can use a bigger fluffier brush. I'm not worried about it looking too dark. Then I'm just gonna kind of brush it into my hairline a little bit. So that completes most of the complexion products. I still have blush to add. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup, brows, blush, lips, all of that off camera, and I will be right back. So this is the finished look. I will have all the products that I use listed in the description box below, but if you're curious, I use the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette on my eyes, and then I used um, MAC's new formula of lipstick. It's the uh, Love Me Lipstick, is that the name of this formula? Love Me Lipstick, and I, I have the shade Daddy's Girl on with uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, so that is what I have on my lips. On my cheeks, I have my good old favorite blush, the Tarte Blush in the shade Party, which I clearly need to get a new one of, and this is actually just a little sample I got that it actually is probably expired, but <laughs> still works. <laughs> so I could end this video here, but I want to do a one check-in with you guys later today so I can show you guys how this actually wears, because I can tell you all day long that it wears beautifully and has a gorgeous long wear glow but I actually want to show you so right now it is time is it is 11 o'clock a.m. it's 11.02 a.m. so just at 11. Um, I will check in with you guys at the end of my day and kind of recap you on if I did any touch-ups and around what times those were um, just so you can see how this foundation wears so I will see you guys in just a bit. Hey friends it's just about three o'clock so I've had the foundation on for about four hours. I haven't touched up at all I just checked the mirror um, and things look exactly the same. There has been no movement, no shine. Um, I'm standing in front of a natural lit window. If the face looks kind of bright, it's because I've got a lot of sunlight coming in here. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little check-in. I will probably check back in with you guys after um, dinner time. I think my next check-in will be my last check-in. Um, I didn't really know that I wanted this to be like a full-fledged foundation review, but I did want to pop back on to show you how this foundation truly wears. Um, I feel like you can still see that glow here, especially in the areas that I applied the flawless filter. Um, but like I said, there's no there's no greasy look to it. It's not overly shiny. Um, it still looks really nice and fresh. So I'm gonna go get the kids from school and I'll check back in with you guys later. And we are back. It is about 8.30 p.m. So I have had the makeup on for a little like nine and a half hours. And I wanted to show you how it looks. I have touched up today twice. Um, and I have spent quite a bit of time outside. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what I did earlier that I was outside. But I remember thinking in my head, 
I'm testing this foundation out and I'm really putting it to the test because I'm outside and it's hundred degrees outside. So um, definitely requires some touch-ups. This is not a foundation for me at least that you can put on in the morning and then not worry about all day. However, it is a foundation that gives a really pretty glow that doesn't look like a big greasy mess by the end of the day. Um, I feel like this still looks pretty good. There are some areas that it's kind of gathering a little bit uh, right around the nose in some large pores, but overall it is one of the best performing glowy foundations that I have tried. So I was really excited to share this combination with you guys. If you are someone like me that is looking for, um, looking to kind of find that like happy balance between uh, long wearing, um, subtle glow, but not too shiny. Um, I feel like I'm kind of in this, like I, I find myself, like I said, kind of really seeking out foundations that um, are a little different than I than I have always loved in the past, which are, have been matte, long wear, um, more coverage foundations. I found that while I still love a long wear, a nice kind of demi matte finished foundation, I'm, I'm slowly starting to appreciate a little bit of a glow, but it's just finding something that's gonna look good for a long period of time. And this is a great combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.